And wait, do, I, do you guys comment down below? Do I look like Rocky Raji now? Like, ugh, I'm just feeling myself so lush. <laughs> Okay, so for this look here, I gave a picture of Ron Raji. So how long have you been a makeup artist? It has been like nine years now. This year, it was nine. It's nine years. Wow. So usually when you start, right, what do you start with? Okay. After I clean it out the face, I will do the eyebrows. Because this is the hardest thing to do. Oh. Because her hair is black, so that's why I'm using black. The, my client is using like blonde. That we use like a little bit like the like light brown or something dark brown. Depends on the skin tone also though. Do not press the pencil too hard or else you will have like very too intense eyebrows. And I'm looking like Nike logo. You can use uh, eyebrow pomade, which is, it looks like this, but this one is quite intense and I don't want it to be too intense. If you are a beginner, I do not recommend you to use that. So. I recommend you to use pencil which is more easy. As you can see I'm using like smaller strokes, not like one line straight away like that because I do not want to do any mistake. Something that happened right when I came in and then Nia was like she wanna consult me. No problem, it's normal with makeup. And then she asked, oh wait, even before that, like when I was preparing to come today, I was like, do I bring anything? So like no, no need to bring anything. Like I was expecting that she'd be like, oh bring your foundation or something because when I was in school, yeah, I used to model and then they would tell you bring your foundation shade because they probably do not have it. But she has like everything, like every color, so we'll see. And then when uh, during the consultation, she was like, uh, is your skin oily or is it dry? I was like, why is she asking me that? Like, <laughs> it's not foundation, it's foundation. Apparently, for oily skin, there are different types of foundation you should use and there are different types of foundation you should use if you have dry skin. When we get foundation, we talk about it. Okay. And just look at in the mirror and just see where you're supposed to start with the front side. Just as a guide. Blessing, are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of clients that end up snoring. I'm not joking about that. Usually a complete face bit will take how long? Uh, depends on the eyes actually. If they, they want like cut crease, mm. takes time and it takes like two hours for me to do like complete and perfect makeup. If it's like simple, it's just like one hour, it'll be done. But that is for like dinner. But when I work with someone which is doing filming or runway like that, you don't have like one hour for it. You only have 20 minutes for the makeup. For me, 30 to 40 minutes is for my eyebrows only. <laughs> That's why if I want to go out, I have to get prepared like five hours earlier. That's why I don't go out. So if you want your eyebrows to be like, to look the arch is higher, mm -hmm. so you have to conceal from down here. If you want it to be straighter, then you have to conceal from up here. If you want to lift your eyebrows up, that's why. Okay guys, I'm tired of that part. I will go back to it because I'm seeing that bow. <laughs> so now I will take a small beauty blender. It's going to dab it. It's not, it's dry, it's not wet. So from what Blessing told me, like she wants like the new trends, which is the foxy eyes. So we try to do it. So you do the eyes first? I always start with the eyes first because if I play with uh, eyeshadow, you know like there will be fallouts. So if I do concealer or the foundation, it will drop on the concealer and I have to redo everything. So we don't have time for that. So as usual, you can use the concealer as the eyeshadow base, but I, like for example, this one, you can use it for your eyeshadow base. You mean the Too Faced? Yeah. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting con Sculpting Concealer. Sorry. What shade? Chestnut. Spread it like that. Okay, and the reason why I use a concealer or eyeshadow base is cover all of the dark circles or the, the veins on the eyes, and it will be like a blank canvas for you to create another look on the eyes and it will make the eyeshadow more pigmented or you can use lighter but i'm going to use the same shade i've seen where people set the concealer with like loose powder okay you can do that but the thing is i want my eyeshadow to be intense so i want it to be like this uh, concealer will be like a gripping thing <laughs> it's going to be like 
it's going to grip the eyeshadow because it's wet right yeah but if you are not used to that i think you should put concealer on top i mean the powder on top of it because it's going to be hard for you to blend it if you are not used to blending we'll be using we're going to use a morphe jacqueline hill palette dark magic yeah, dark magic, dark magic in the middle. So look at her eye shape. It's like C shape. That's how I'm going to place the transition color. The reason why I'm using transition color is for me to when I put the darker color letter, it's going to be easier for me to blend it into your skin. And after that, I'll pick. I'll go to this one, Mojo. Is it Mojo or Moho? Mojo. Mojo, right? I feel like you're blending in circular motion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that. And when you blend the eyeshadow, I suggest you to hold your brush like this, like, like at the end. So that you, if you hold it here, it's going to be too intense. Mm -hmm. So this is how to feather out the eyeshadow. Actually, the reason why I put this color is just to, just to shape her eyes. Because actually, we're going to do like foxy eyes. Foxy eyes means like it's going to be like elongated to the back, like cat eye. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's just cat eyes. Just people nowadays, they just want to make <laughs> something fancy. If you want to create a foxy eyes, but you are not sure on how doing it, you can use like, you know, tape, right? Mm -hmm. You can just place it here, at the end like this. Just for, your, for, for you to guide your own eyeshadow. For me, I won't do it because I'm going to conceal it and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So, first of all, go down low. <laughs> I'm going to take this shade, Temptress. It's like a black, but there's a shimmer in, in there. Like that. Tap the excess. And I'm going to line the eyes first. You can use eyeliner, but I want it to be a little bit soft. Can you look straight? The reason why I asked it to look straight so that I know where I can line the, the eyeliner like that. And then I'm going to exactly how you use eye liquid eyeliner. Then that, that is how you're going to apply this eyeshadow. And that's the reason why I use like very small and detailed brush. But when you play with a very dark shade, you have to be careful because sometimes you will overdo it. And once you overdo it, it's very hard for you to clean up, or else you have to redo it all all over again. So just you use it bit by bit. You can drag it as long like to here if you want it to be dramatic but i want it to look more wearable but if you go for a date don't don't wear makeup so that your man can see the real you hmm. <laughs> i don't think men want to see the real you they don't listen to me <laughs> they will run away as you guys can see if you look straight it's like it's cut here so i have to drag it to here just to combine with the upper part so that when she opens her eyes Okay, look straight. She opened her eyes. It will look more natural. Do you usually use like very dark eyeshadow? Mm, yeah. And sometimes I try to make sure like the eyeshadows that blend with my eye skin. Mm -hmm. I don't use really loud colors like maybe blue or something. Actually, maybe blue is more, nice on your skin though. Mm -hmm. More of like browns and blacks and stuff like that. We call that safe color. <laughs> She's just trying to be safe. What's the most ridiculous thing that's happened to you as a makeup artist? There's a lot. Like, bad experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, I've waited for a client like for five hours before at the hotel lobby. So five hours? Five hours, guys. Okay. What was, did you do? Me and my sister, we're just sitting down. We're just trying to be patient. Because that's her, her wedding day, so I don't want to ruin it for her, so I will sacrifice it for her. Where was the lady? Hmm? Where was the client? She was, of course, if it's in your wedding day, they will be like busy. Mm -hmm. And there was, like in KL, you know, like it's very, the jam is too much, so I forgive her. It's okay, but do not repeat that again. It's painful. Five hours is not easy. Has anybody ever complained about your makeup? The only thing they complain is okay, for example, like when I put eye eyelashes, they are not used to it because that's their first time. So I have to remove it and redo, remove it and redo it. But at the end of the day, before I leave my client, I mean before I leave the place, 
I have to ask my client to look in, into the mirror and tell me straight away. Don't don't be shy. Just tell me, okay, I don't like this, I don't like that, so I will redo it. And I have to make sure that my client is happy before they leave. If they are not happy after they leave, but I already asked, that's them. Because they are paying me for that. So I have to make sure that they are satisfied with my service. Have you ever done makeup for a celebrity before? There's one celebrity, but it was way back in Sarawak. And after that, but now I focus more on classes. I don't really do makeup these days, just classes. But actually when I moved to KL, like most of my clients are African, like 90% of them. But that's the thing that I'm so grateful about. Because for an African to trust an Asian makeup artist to make up them, because I, I understand their fear, okay? The next thing when they come out from the makeup studio, their face will be lighter than their skin. For them to trust me, I'm so grateful for that. Because most of my clients, like 90% of my clients have been complaining if they go to buy their foundation. Those promoters will ask them to buy something which is like 10 shades lighter than their own skin tone or 10 shades darker than their own skin tone. You know some of their mentality is like, okay, you visit the African skin, like dark skin, any dark Foundation is okay for them, okay? Without thinking of their undertones, like that. Like, I know, like, two brands who, like, make sure they have almost every skin, besides Fenty, and then MAC used to be, like, the one that had almost all the shades. Yeah, MAC. But now, which other uh, brand would you recommend, like, for that thing that will have at least? Uh, Too Faced. If you want to buy uh, in Sephora, it's Too Faced. Face and... Zoeva, but Zoeva is more to warm tone. Some, you know, some skin is like a uh, cool tone. Zoeva or Beauty Blender. Yeah, it's one of the best foundation. And undertone warm or? It's warm. Not that warm, but warm. Ooh la la. <laughs> okay. Just gonna dab it like that. This is like another level of foxy eyes. Usually foxy eyes is just like the liner. But here I added some shimmer because Ronke did it, okay? Mm. It's nice. It goes with your skin tone. I know it, you guys might see, oh my god, this is a disaster. But trust the process. Trust the process, okay? That's why when my clients keep on looking at a mirror while I'm doing it, they will say, ah, oh, why this color is like this? Why is the color like that? Me trying to be nice, I will just say trust the process. I know what I'm doing. Okay, and now I'm going to conceal it like this part is like quite low, so I'm going to lift it up like that. So how I'm going to do that is, I'm going to use Q-tips, mm. like the hard one, not the soft one. This one is for, for beauty, for makeup. I'm going to spread it with some water, this mineral water inside here, okay? I don't want to spray you. <laughs> Did you go to makeup school? Uh, Yes, for a few, few years, mm. while I was doing my... While I was in university too. Where did you study in university? Sorry? Where did you study in university? I studied business and petroleum, not makeup. <laughs> Just use some little bit of water. You can use like a uh, makeup remover. And after that, I have to blend it into the black shade. Ooh, this is more like a Cleopatra look. As you can see, the reason why I start with the eyeshadow is because of the fallouts here. Okay? Imagine if you use your foundation, your concealer. You can use like, okay, if you apply all of that, and all of a sudden it's like it's dropping on your foundation, but you apply like loose powder, but it's going to make the eye, like the under eye still dry. It's going to be cakey. So here I'm using cleansing lotion. It's in Korean, so I, I can't pronounce it. Be Festa. Okay, this one, this is one of my favorite. We're going to do skincare first. Like the under eyes, I'm going to use the ordinary. This uh, eye serum. Okay, let's just say it's eye serum because there's a lot of scientific this I can't say. It. So, <laughs> Where did you get this from? I ordered it online, but I don't think it's made here. It's made in made in Canada. Yeah, for example, if you guys have like this type of applicator, I don't. Recommend you just to apply it straight away to your face because if this thing touch your face, the germ from your face will stick here and you will put it back inside the bottle, and the germs will be doing their babies in their bottles. So what I do is I'm going to take it like this, pump it, you know my, like this. Two drops enough, apply it under the eye. 
and usually using this I always apply it on the chin and the forehead make sure you massage it into the skin okay now we're going to do moisturizer you said that you are oily right mm -hmm. even though you're oily you have to moisturize your skin I'm using this this is for face and body sensitive skin cream but to be honest when someone do my makeup mm -hmm. I feel like I don't know have you ever gone to makeup artist? in KL not yet but in Sarawak the last time I went to Sarawak I did a master makeup class and I asked my student to do my makeup I mean like my old old student a few years ago so I wanted someone to do my makeup so finally one of my students did it she did it so good I was so proud I was like a proud mama hand she's a master and I'm like really really good I was so impressed now you can feel like your skin is moisturized and dehydrated not dehydrated hydrated so now I'm going to use face primer I'm going to use Huda Beauty pre makeup base it is moisturizing makeup base but the reason why I like this is because it's gonna grip the foundation it's going to last long so after this if you go back and you want to wash your face and you can't wash it because it's too thick no, not too thick like it's too gripping you just go to your kitchen and take oil and just rub <laughs> That's a hack right there. Use red red oil. No, don't, don't use red oil. <laughs> but are you serious about using oil like this? Baby oil, baby oil. Or coconut oil. Something that you're not supposed to cook, okay? But I like Huda Beauty, but the thing is, the smell is just... It's very pungent. Yeah. Even her foundation. And because I have sensitive skin, like fragrance is not, it's not good for sensitive skin. But I still like it. You can feel like it's like blue, right? So everything that's gonna stick on your face will last for five days. But don't wear your makeup for five days <laughs> unless you want some breakouts. The forehead, you have a very nice forehead. Thank you. Not like the big one. <laughs> What's this? Pores. Mm. So this is like a pore filling primer. You don't have to use two primer, but I usually do this. Because most of my clients, they will say I have a lot of big pores here. I want my skin to be smooth. So this is this is like a cement for skin. For, for skin. This is Elf Polish Putty Primer. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. This is not Beauty Blender, but it's Beauty. It's Blender Sponge. See, it looks much, but we have to. We will cover it with foundation, so don't worry. So I'm going to apply this only under the eyes, the nose and the forehead the chin that's all someone will be shout at the house why is she applying <laughs> you guys can see <laughs> turn your phone <laughs> before i apply the foundation i make sure that i wet the, the sponge like it's damp okay it's not wet it's damp so it's a little bit fluffy and soft like this and the reason why i do this is because if you wear it like dry it will soak up all of your foundation so there's no point for you to apply you for your foundation so when it's damp it's not going to soak up too much of the foundation and after that it will blend it properly so here is my dish you can call it plate what do you call this plate okay so here is because i'm a makeup artist i use a lot of foundations to match her own skin tone what i'm trying to make match is the neck okay because you don't want to separate the face without looking like a zebra so here i'm using la girl pro matte since she is like oily skin so i'm using matte foundation i'm going to mix it with a uh, cat bondi lock it foundation this is for oily skin and if you are dry skin i do not recommend you to use this because it will make you dry so i'm going to mix it what foundations do you recommend for dry skin um dry skin anything luminous if they say luminous or hydrating that's your foundation for example anastasia beverly hills foundation and there's some um, toothpaste also if i'm not mistaken so what i'm gonna do is what i i'll just take a two tips it's going to swatch here and see if it has skin tones so i want it to be a little bit darker so I'm gonna add so I'm gonna add a little bit of this for glowing it's a illuminator but liquid illuminate illuminator is it yeah it's like a highlight but it's liquid but I'll go, I'm going to mix, mix it with the foundation so that it won't look like too matte on your skin because I want your skin to glow mm. 
So I'm going to mix with a darker Sephora foundation. This is good for oily skin. And the thing about foundation is oxidizes, okay? Mm. Especially Fenty Beauty. So be careful if you guys buy foundation. For example, like you can see like this is lighter, but when I apply on her on, on her skin, after one or two hours like that, it's going to be two tones darker. Than this skin tone so yeah especially Fenty Beauty foundation there's a reason why I, I like Fenty Beauty foundation but I I can't use it on my clients because I can't I don't want to take the risk you look so yummy <laughs> sounds so wrong <laughs> <laughs> and I recommend you guys to buy something like a very full coverage foundation Either, even though you don't like a full coverage foundation you can just dilute it with your moisturizer like that because there's days that you want it to be full if you buy like medium or light coverage it's almost like there's nothing on your skin so make sure you buy full coverage depends on you though it's your money but do not apply too much products on the forehead because you tend to sweat we're going to conceal your face to conceal it under the eyes just few dots you don't have to apply like too much like that because this is a full coverage from the uh sorry concealer so i applied on her highest point of her face to catch the light just to give some di dimension on the face Okay. you don't want your face to look flat for example like there's some areas here you can't, i can't reach it so i'm going to use like smaller i'm just going to fill it in okay i'm going to lift the eyes and lift the face so here i'm using this uh stick contour it's from rimmel 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 it's in the shade dark i'm not going to contour too much on her face i, I don't think i'm going to contour here i mean like liquid contour because your face is perfect already it's just that I need to enhance this area. Under eyes, I'm going to set her, her face with this Fit Me Maybelline foundation in the shade 330 Toffee. It's going to cover up all of the dark circles and the bad decision you have met in life. Who knows you'll be crying for the whole night and your under eyes is puffy. So this is your savior and God is your savior. <laughs> Just the center of the face. What's the best thing that's ever happened to you as a makeup artist? The best thing that have ever happened to me as a makeup artist is when I look at my clients, there's one of my clients before, she cried after she looked at her face. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Was it her wedding day or? No, it's just like a dinner makeup, you know. I think like she don't really do makeup. I don't know, like, like it's a personal thing to her, I guess. So she cried, so I hugged her. But I was still wondering why she cried <laughs> till now. But it was like, a very good moment though. Now I'm going to set her face with Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep. Just have to dab it like that. It's because like she's oily and that's the reason why I use a lot of powders in this video. If you are dry, I do not, I will not use this type of, I mean like this amount of powder on your face. And I'm going to brush all of the powder up with this uh, press powder. It's from LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Face Press Powder. And this in the shade Warm Caramel. I'm gonna take this. I know there's a lot of powder, but you are oily. Brush all of it up. If you were not a makeup artist, what would you be doing? I wouldn't think about that yet. But I would still become a makeup artist. <laughs> Before my, actually my dream is to be a stewardess, air stewardess. Ooh. But this body is not going to allow it. So forget about it. And all of these blends be dropping anyhow. So, I will. so I'm using this MAC uh, Studio Soft Focus. And this is the darkest shade if I'm not mistaken. Medium dark to dark. I'm going to contour her face using two tones darker than her own skin tone. I'm going to use this type of brush. It's like a pedal brush. And if you want to contour your face, make sure you use from the ear to the front. Okay. You have to look for the cheekbones. Okay, it's here. So I'm going to contour it here. And make sure it's like three, three fingers far from your mouth because you're not supposed to connect it to your mouth because you look like you divide your face okay it's supposed to be your shadow so i'm going to lightly contour i'm not going to do it too harsh because sometimes when people contour eh, it looks like there's two blocks here 
So you're not supposed to create that. Your contour is supposed to be like a shadow. And your jawline, you have to place the brush down like this, not up like this. I'm not going to make it too obvious because her face is perfect, but I just want to show you guys the steps. It doesn't need contour. Her face is perfect. So to contour her nose, I'm going to use this type of brush. It's a little bit slanted, so same shade down here. You can see I'm dragging it downwards like this, touching the eyebrows a bit so that it will look like it's natural. It's your own face, it's on your, your own. And if you want a, a bigger lips effect, you can contour your She has a perfect lip, so she doesn't have. I just want to show you guys how to do it, okay? I'm going to use this. This is a blusher, uh, Tarte Captivating. This is like a universal shade, can be wear with any skin tones. I'm going to use a very fluffy brush. Not too much because we're supposed to create that she woke up like this effect. This is how her cheek looked like when she woke up. But the thing about makeup is the first thing that we fade on your face is the blusher. Going back to the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to go back to this shade Mojo. So this will create a very smoky effect. If you don't like the smoky effect, I suggest you to skip this part. Ooh, I'm feeling the vibes. Now I'm going to use this Too Faced Peach Miss Mattifying Setting Spray. This is for oily skin. If you're dry skin, I don't, I don't think you should use this one. You should use the Urban Decay All Nighter. And the reason why I set the face before I apply highlighter is because this highlighter will stick more to this moist and hydrated uh, face because we already sprayed, right? So here I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Sun Dip Bronzed. You can mix it with a little bit of summer. I'm using fan brush for highlight. The chin down here, a little bit on the forehead and uh, nose bridge. You have a very sexy lips. Look at that. A little bit on, on the brow bone. So this is the lashes. So before I stick it on her eyes, I have to check it first. Done. I mean like the length. Is it going to fit her eyes? As you guys can see, this one is too long, so I have to cut it a little bit shorter. The reason why I cut it because I don't want it to poke her eyes. Okay. So cut it like that. Make sure you cut. Make sure you me uh, measure your lashes. But sometimes it pains me if I see some girls go out with the lashes stick up to the eyebrows like this. So I'm going to use this. Apple. This is a very long-lasting lash glue. It will last you for a few days, weeks, and months, and years. I'm just joking. It's just for a few days, okay? But it's really long-lasting and waterproof. You can cry. You can swim. You can do a lot of things any type of activities that will make you wet that sounds so wrong <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so wrong <laughs> i mean like you're going for a swimming okay or there's something like that so you have to wet it to get dry a little bit not dry but a little bit tacky because if you stick it straight away while it's wet it's going, not going to stick that is why you will see you don't know how to put it so you have to wait for it to get tacky like that so you stick straight away so you open your eyes but you look down okay because if she close her eyes, if I stick it on her eyes and the glue will stick with her lower lashes, that's going to be a very big problem because she won't be able to open her eyes back. I'm going to stick the middle part first and after that I'm going to adjust the sides. Ooh! If you see it like this, there's a lot of like stain here and there. Do not remove it straight away while it's still wet. You have to wait for it to get dry. Then you use your cotton bud or your Q-tips to remove it. Because if you remove it now, it will smudge all of the foundation and the powder. This is a clean, sorry, this is a clean one. Just have to rub it like that. It's gone. Just rub it like that. So I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Ambry Zip Highlighter. It looks like this. I'm going to highlight the brow bone. Look down. And to highlight the inner corner. This is compulsory, guys. So that because we are creating a very dark shade. I'm using a L'Oreal Voluminous. Is it L'Oreal? It is L'Oreal. <laughs> Uh, mascara looks like this. I don't think you can buy it in Malaysia. You can order it online. I'm going to combine her real lashes with the false lashes. To line her lips with Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. You can buy this in Sephora. I'm going to align her lips first. This one. I'm going to use these two lipstick. It's from Sephora. 
76 the lighter one and the darker one is 26 it's just to create a very nice gradient look I'm gonna take brush like this and just blend it so you guys this type of brush is not only for your eyes you can use it for your lips I'm going to use this to combine her real lashes to the fake one no, to the false one not the <laughs> fake one you don't want to use the word fake okay and be careful this part guys you don't want to injure your clients or yourself okay and final thing is to spread the face one more time and I'm going to use this type of this is not a face setting spray this is like a hydrating spray but it's for oily and acne control mist so this one the mist is more fine Let me do all the stains, let's do this to do my list Sorry We understand We feel you So final thing I'm going to go back to this palette using the sponge Just a little bit Yeah Just to intensify it So that you can blind all of your haters with the highlights. Blind your anything. You have to use the highlights so that everybody can see you 10 kilometers away. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I use like a very damp uh, sponge is because I want it to melt into your skin. There's one time I do makeup for nine clients in one day. From morning till midnight, from morning to morning. Going to take the blusher and guys if you apply makeup you try to make it look nice in real person and in pictures okay because sometimes if you apply makeup like most of the tutorial you see outside it looks nice in cameras because it's under the light and all that in pictures but re in real person you will look like masquerade okay the thing about a very thick makeup like this like wait until one to two hours when once everything melts into your skin that's when you will see the real beauty of it My goodness this is the final look thank you so much me thank you for having me and um, wait what do you guys comment down below do i look like wrong carriage now like mm, i'm not feeling myself so lush so pretty <laughs> thank you guys for watching if you watch this extent you have an m baby is it an m review or the m i think it's an m just thank you so much for watching this extent Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed yet. So, like, come here away again. Bye.